Hey everybody, it's Tom from Amplified Parts. Today's video is part two of our series on the cam capacitor production process for CE manufacturing. In part one, we showed the anode and cathode stamping process and the capacitor winding. Be sure to watch that first if you haven't seen it yet. There's a link to part one in the description below. Today we're going to show you the next steps in producing vintage style electrolytic can capacitors. The first step that comes after the finished winding is called swaging. In every electrolytic capacitor, the cathode sections are a little bit longer than the anode and the dielectric material, which means the cathode foil sticks out the bottom of the capacitor. In the swaging process, we bump the coils of the cathode together, essentially fusing them so that they are touching one another. The swaging process reduces the ohmic resistance and the inductive effects in the cathode cartridge. This is the swaging machine. It consists of a simple motor and a crude blade that spins around. We touch the bottom of the cathode windings to the blade and it knocks the cathode coils over and fuses them together. Now that the windings have been swaged, it's time to impregnate them with electrolyte. To do that, we use this chamber here. We put the dry windings inside and seal the chamber. We submerge the windings with electrolyte. We then pull a strong vacuum and let them soak under the vacuum pressure. We release the vacuum and pressurize the chamber for a period of time. And finally, we release the pressure and allow the capacitors to soak at regular atmospheric temperatures and pressure. The whole process takes about an hour, but the end result is that the dielectric material, or the craft paper, is completely saturated with electrolyte. When the capacitors come out of the vacuum chamber, they're very wet with electrolyte. The electrolyte is very slippery and slick, so to facilitate the upcoming steps and make it easier to handle, we put them in this machine that we affectionately call the salad spinner. It's really not a salad spinner, but it does the same thing. It removes all the excess electrolyte from the outside of the capacitor.
Thanks for watching. In part three, we'll continue on to the assembly and canning process. Let us know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. When part three is finished, we'll add a link to the description below.